Most of the Chinese fans are already super familiar with the Rush Hour franchise. Did you watch the movie over and over again to prepare for the part? Not to prepare for it. Now, growing up, I always watched it. Ironically, I'm a first degree black belt. So I grew up loving martial arts and I grew up loving comedy. So mm -hmm. when the movies came around, I felt like Rush Hour was the perfect combination mm -hmm. of mar martial arts and mm -hmm. comedy. So I fell in love with the movies and been mm -hmm. watching them all my life. Mm -hmm. When I booked the role, however, mm -hmm. I watched no Rush Hour or anything that Chris Tucker did because I'm a comedian and I can imitate people. And right. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't doing a Chris Tucker impersonation throughout the series. You know, I wanted to make sure that I was bringing Justin Hires to this new Carter character. Exactly, the best person you can be is yourself, right? So Absolutely. how else did you prepare for the part? I worked out physically, um, you know, doing like 700 push-ups, 1,000 crunches. No uh, way. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. On set? I look good under everyone? this shirt. Under this shirt, I look amazing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, tell us more about the show. Well, the first episode is actually the reboot of the movie, right? So how do you differentiate your show from the trilogy? Well, it's almost as if the Detective Lee character stayed in Los Angeles. So, mm -hmm. you know, imagine if Jackie Chan would have stayed with Chris Tucker and if they started working together. And so every episode 2 to 13, because it's 13 episodes, it's brand new storylines that has nothing to do with the film franchise, which is great because it's original jokes, original storylines. You get to see characters that you didn't see in the original film franchise, and it really stands on its own.